Did yeah. I not get the red memo or something? We still saw. We still got. We put it on a post-it. Yeah. It dropped, dropped. And... Um, <laughs> does Buzz ever wear jeans? Because I feel like he's always in like a <laughs> like. You know what? I think he'd love them. Right. I, I don't know if he's even been introduced to them, but I think they would really fit. Because doesn't that costume look a little? What's a suit? I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably pretty restricting. And I, I think I think once he found a good pair of jeans, you probably couldn't get him out of them. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you something you have not been asked today. I'm ready. Okay, very important. Okay. So, being a space ranger is about having a partner, having a team. If you were gonna be a space ranger, mm -hmm. and you had to pick one hip hop diva to be your partner, who would that diva be and Chris and why? Oh my God. Yeah. I don't know, I, I may, maybe Missy Elliott. She seems like she already has the kind of like space outfits. She's already ready to go. That's true, she's got yeah. a lot of swag too. Yeah. Ooh. Well, one is no longer with us, Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. You know she's ready. You know Whitney is ready to get us to where we're trying to go. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other person would be, and I'm not trying to sound cliche because people always want to use this lady, but it's because she is a Virgo and she gets it done. Beyonce. Okay. Beyonce ain't going to stop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because one thing about a Virgo, we try to be good at everything. So yeah. just as good as she is at performing, she will be a great space ranger. So I'm ready for me and her to roll. Okay. Yes. Okay. What about yes. you? I'm gonna also share some love with Mary J. Blige. Oh. Mm. You know Mary going hard. <laughs> yes. I think Mary's gonna get us there. Look, I think she's gonna get us there. That phrase, I need to <laughs> I think Mary's gonna get us there. <laughs> Literally live for that. Now, I selfishly have my own pick because one of my co-hosts on my show is the brat. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, there's no messing with brats. So. That's my Chicago yeah. girl. Yes, the brat. So yeah. there you go. Bring us to Lisa LeRae. Okay, of course. Well, Brad and Lisa, you're coming on the spaceship with yeah. us. Yeah. We go to the moon. What creature conference do you need? I really want uh, some music. I want my headphones and, and some tunes because it's going to be an emotional experience, and I wouldn't mind having a soundtrack. Okay. Well, what's on the soundtrack? Good question. I mean, that depends. You know, morning to night, different vibes. You know, when you okay. wake up in the morning, you want something kind of feel good, something to jump out of bed, maybe tap your toe. But at night, I wouldn't mind something a little more reflective, especially if you're in space. Maybe some like Pink Floyd in space. Okay. I mean, now I feel like I need to bring a gummy to space. <laughs> and then turn on the Pink Floyd. What do you need in space? Like, what are the creature comforts that we're gonna need on this trip? A comfortable creature. We need to get a creature who's like a bed. Because like, I like, I like to be, when I go to sleep, I like to be super comfortable and I like to be cuddled. Okay. So, so are we well, are we like, spooning? Is this a spoon situation? Forking. Forking. <laughs> what does forking mean, Taika? I'll fork you if you fork me. <laughs> but kind of set up the film for me because a lot of people are confused. They're like, is it an origin story? Is it? And, right. and you're the man that can explain that. Well, we'll see. Um, I, I'll, I'll tell you what Angus said to me. Uh, the director, when I when I went to Pixar, and, and he kind of gave me his pitch. He said, uh, he said, when I was a kid, I loved Star Wars, and he showed me this photo of him when he was five or six, covered head to toe in Han Solo gear, and he said, uh, you know, it was it was the movie that I loved more than anything, and all my friends, we had all the toys, and we couldn't wait for the movies, and when he saw the first Toy Story movie, and Andy got Buzz Lightyear. And all of his friends knew who Buzz Lightyear was, and all of his friends were so excited to have it, he couldn't help but think, what's the movie that Andy and his friends saw that made Buzz such an icon? So this is that movie. Are you up to your knees now in swag? Like, do you have like, 10 million Buzz dolls? Do you have got all that stuff? No, not yet. I gotta get some, though. What do you want from, like, what have they made? Have you seen any products or something? Socks. Socks? I want socks. Why? Do you not? Look. No, like <laughs> the cat. Oh, you want the cat, not the cat. Oh, you want the cat. Yeah. Would Dodger get along with the cat? He'd get along with the toy cat, sure. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Chris. You got it. I love the film. First of all, your hair is fantastic. Is there any hair care? To That's the first thing I see is I, you're, I really want your hair. I want oh, the really? style. I want the cut. It's very on point. I must say, it's, it grows yeah. so fast. Hey. I don't know what it is, yep. but I've got friends that don't have hair anymore. Hey. And uh, and I'm just, uh, my dad was the same, my brother's got all his hair. Can we talk so, about Josh Brolin? That uh, kid's got a head Josh of hair. Josh has hair. He's got yeah. hair. 
So yeah. I was sitting out there and I was thinking, you know, <clears throat> Josh, who is also one of my favorite people, your son is one of my favorite people to interview because he is always very fun. Yeah. He is he a great is. time, that guy. He, he, is. Um, he is. Now, he, Prolific. he plays a bad guy in a Disney film. You're now a bad guy in a Disney film. Right. Is there someone at Disney that's like, we have this bad guy, we got to call a Brolin. Is, is there a Brolin available? Is Avengers a Disney film? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm in the club, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, we have not. He, I didn't know what he was doing until the night of this. I, it was screened for me. And he doesn't know what I'm doing yet at all. So this comparison keeps coming up. So I imagine it's going to be uh, in the mind's eye of the public pretty quick. Hey. Who's going to win in a bar fight? Well, let's talk. Josh, yeah. what, is it is it Josh? Who is it? Who's going to win in the bar fight? Oh, he, he's he's tough, man. I, he surpassed me. He's scrappy. He's a hard worker. I'm a guy that uh, kind of d doesn't work that hard until the, the jig is up. You know, the it's time to go to work, and you got to be there. And I, I'm. Um, I don't know. He's a go-getter and always has been. And I said earlier, you know, from the time he got a motorcycle at three years old and said, take those training wheels off and then wore five of them out and then was raised around horses.